Hey everybody. No, it's been a little over a month, but I have a new video up. And today I'm gonna to show you some Pandora items. Some I bought for the Lunar New Year. I also bought a really cute purse for the Lunar New Year, and I'm gonna show you that too. So first off, let's dig in here. One thing I never got to show y'all was this beautiful silver bracelet I got. It's a little beat up. I have been wearing the heck out of it. It's from Pandora, signature ID cuff bracelet. And just so you all know, hop on to Pandora, at least for the US website, and they're having a 25% off sale, and this is one of the things on sale. This is a size two. And as you can see, it fits me pretty good. My wrist is 6.25 and goes up to six and a half. So I can wear this pretty much wherever on my wrist, and I'm quite happy with it. Size two, 6.25, six and a half. I'm left-handed, so this also will fit my left wrist. Now my left wrist is six and a half, seven. So let me put this on. There you go. It's great. Now, this is a size two. I'm gonna tell you all right now, according to the Pandora website, I should have put a three on. And I'll tell you, uh, a three is not bad for a closed bangle. If you'll see right here, this right here is a size three. See how big it is? It's an oval shape. This is the Pandora signature in rose bangle. This is a three. Look at that. And this is on my bigger wrist. Eh, I mean, some people might want it loose like that, but if you're going to get a cuff, you really don't want it loose like that because then you're just going to slip right through here and lose something that you spent good, hard earned money on. So if I had to go back, I would have gotten this in a two, but it is what it is. Now, what else did I get? Ah, yes. Let's see, I'm gonna put this on my cuff bracelet just to, I got the 20 year anniversary Pandora two-tone swirl charm. I love the old, I love some of the older Pandora stuff, not all of it. I love Pandora, but I'm very particular about the Pandora I love. So I won't just buy any old thing if it has Pandora on it. Uh, there's some things that are just too cutesy for me. I don't like how they're done, but the pieces I do get, I love. So this is the 20th anniversary edition. I missed out on it when it came out a few years ago. Plus it was like a hundred something dollars. And I was like, me. But then when it left, I was like, oh, what a shame. I got this on Rue La La for a very good price. And it's still up there right now. If you like the older type Pandora charms, I highly, highly recommend getting it. I have a two-tone bracelet, which I will show in another video at some point, and this fits in perfectly with it. I absolutely love it. It still has the internal screw mechanism like the older Pandora charms do. Seems to me they just didn't break the mold, used the exact same mold, and just remade it, and I'm very happy I have it in my collection. You can get it on Rue La La for a song. I highly recommend it. All right, what else do we have here going on? Let's open this up. Now, with the Lunar New Year coming, let's put this here for a little visual interest here. There we go. With the Lunar New Year coming, I, uh, I'm born in the year of the rabbit. I did a little slew thing, and I found out that rabbits aren't gonna have a very good year. And I said, oh, they said, however, not all hope is lost. You will be able to counteract some of the bad luck if you get a couple of things. And one of the things they said was a, um, a certain type of uh, charm, it's called Pichu, and I am probably horribly mispronouncing it, but I will put it down in the description below. This charm um, is a Pandora Shine. Not a fan of Pandora Shine. I have a Pandora Shine Moments bracelet, and it has not aged well at all. So I got this guy. Now, for those of you that are interested in Pandora Shine, when Pandora Shine first came out, Pandora Shine 
initially came out as 18 karat plated gold over silver, okay? This is an 18 karat gold Pichu piece, okay? This provides a lot of good luck. This was uh, put out a few years ago by Pandora. Um, he's got great detail. He's wonderful. The 18 karat yellow gold is n I'm not a fan of. Um, I love 18 karat rose gold. But 18 karat yellow gold is very yellow on me and doesn't suit my skin tone at all. I prefer 14 karat gold, which I guess in a sense is a bonus because it's a heck of a lot more affordable. But anyway, I had to get him anyway. And uh, so I wear him pretty frequently. If I don't wear him, I have another uh, charm that I wear. He came out a few years ago. I found him brand new at an authorized Pandora retailer just by chance. Really happy with him. Now, how is it going to wear? I don't know. Uh, my Pandora Moments bracelet and Pandora Shine looks awful now. It's faded. It's still yellow, but I, I don't like Pandora Shine. I don't think it's worth the money. Pandora Rose is a completely different story, but we'll get into that another time. But Pandora Shine, mm, so, but I love him. And he's a charm, and I hope that he holds up well. I'm mindful not to get him wet or to wear to sleep or anything like that. So I got him for some good luck. Now, the year of the dragon is upon us. So, of course, I wanted him. He is a fantastic piece by Pandora. He's also in Pandora Shine, which is a shame because I literally would have paid good money for him to be in gold. I really would have but he's got detailing all the way around of CZs. His eyes are some sort of red crystal. I think this dragon looks a heck of a lot better in person, well, in real life than it does on the website. The website, I was like, yeah, you know, but I was like, no, I wanna get some dragon charms, some dragon themed things to celebrate the year of the dragon. They say that also helps to bring good luck. So I was like, let me do it. So I got him and I am not disappointed. He is very different from him in terms of color. Here we go. See, I don't know if the camera catches it, but I think you can see this one's got a lot more yellow. The Pandora Shine, they have toned it down to 14 karat gold, for which I am grateful because the 14 karat gold suits me better. And I feel like it looks more, like I could almost pass it off as real gold. Um, this is just way too yellow. This is way too yellow. It's Oops, there we go. Look at me, Butterfingers, little charms. Let me see if I can put them on here. So let's see if we can look at the difference. You can see a subtle difference. I wish the camera would pick it up better, but he's definitely a lot more yellow. Very happy with the dragon. Very happy. Um, he's great. I put him on my gold Pandora charm bracelet, and he blends right in. See, and that's the thing. This guy does not because he's so 18 karat gold he sticks out like a sore thumb but this guy blends right in with my 14 karat solid gold pandora charms very happy with him so let's see what other trouble did i get into now he doesn't sit so well so we're gonna kind of go like that for him all right now i got a couple other things i did have a pandora sterling silver bangle with a 0.15 carat lab created diamond. Remember how I was talking about um, this is a size two and that this is a size three? Well, I got it in a size three and I gotta tell you, the sales lady told me the two would be better, but I had already had this in a three and I was like, no, I want to be in a three to go with this. That was a foolish move. Um, I should have gotten it in a two. I had issues with it, it kept falling off. I bought it last October and about a month and a half ago, I spoke to Pandora. We had a little bit of back and forth information and they ended up issuing me a, a, a credit in the amount of the bangle that I could go get a new one. I sent that one back. Excellent, excellent customer service. I was really impressed. Um, I was very impressed and I highly recommend that if you just get yourself educated, get the right documentation, they can help you. So. I didn't want to get the sterling silver bangle again. I have this, you know, whatever, and that was a lot of money. So it was $10 cheaper and I got something different. So let's put these guys aside. 
I did do um, a brief video on this. So I got, I got the 14 karat gold lab created diamond on a, on a diamond cut chain. And uh, whoop, there's a little sparkle and uh, it's a point, it's the same size diamond. I got it on a chain in 14 karat gold and it's a bezel set. Very happy with this. I wore it from when I got it. I never took it off and uh, it's held up very well. So I can say this is, I, I'm really getting into Pandora Lab Created Diamonds. Um, I've read up a lot on diamonds and the ethics and uh, I know Pandora does her absolute best to be as low emissions as possible. So I'm buying more diamonds from Pandora. Um, I'm hoping to get the 14 karat gold bangle that I originally got in silver. Very happy. All right, the only thing I gotta say about this though, let me just, why is it suddenly so hard? Okay, so the only thing I have to say about this though, the only complaint I have, once again, the sizing is a little weird. I wanted to have it so that it would have a little dangle on the bottom, you know, look cute little dangle, but uh, the way their sizing is, is mm, and their sizing is not so great. The only issue I have is that the clasp, thank goodness it's a lobster clasp, but it is tiny. Very hard to get on and get off. I just left this on and it stayed on beautifully, but it's a real bear. You have to get something called a bracelet buddy. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, you can Google it on Amazon. You're going to need a bracelet buddy in order to get this thing on and off, but I wouldn't suggest playing around with it too much. Then the last thing I got is not Pandora, but is super adorable. And I think um, you'll get a kick out of it. Let me just move these a little bit. Okay. I got myself this cute little coach bag for the Chinese New Year. Look how cute that is. It's a top flap and it's got a cute little coach with the Chinese New Year symbol. It's a crossbody. It can also be worn as a shoulder bag. It's a crossbody with very long chain. I absolutely love it. Um, this was from the coach outlet which I'm very impressed by. The stars also on this are a little sparkly. Very impressed. So that was what I also got to celebrate the new year of the dragon. And that's it folks. Um, I will be posting some more videos when I can, but this is just an update. I really don't get that much time to, you know, get things where I want them to be and, and how I can sit down and have a little time to, you know, get myself together. But the dragon charm, I think is worth the money. If you have other 14 karat gold charms, it will fit in perfectly with the charm. This guy is cool, but he's so dang 18 karat gold bright. And I absolutely love this one too. Really happy I got this, and you can get this at Rue La La for a really deep discount. Well, that's it, everyone. Have a great day, and I'll be speaking to you soon. Stay metal.